Hey friends, Zen Cooney here. We're going to take our Vitality staff here, our Qigong Vitality staff. We're going to bring it into the back circle. Get a nice grip on it. We're going to do a sequence of wonderful moves for your chest and shoulder group. So here's our first one. We're going to, staying in the back circle. We're bringing it overhead. Overhead, or I guess we should say behind the head. Let me show you what it looks like from behind the head. Okay. So I am pulling the staff apart as I do this. In other words, I'm not just loosely grasping the staff, I'm actually pulling it apart. And you'll find that that will assist you with your engagement. Then we're going to throw a rotation into the process here. So you're going to rotate and push the staff. Push the staff forward and up or to the side and up. Then we're going to alternate between one, two, three, four. Now hopefully, as you're doing these, you're gonna feel some increasing mobility, some ease of movement, increasing ease. Now I know some of you may be so tight that this may not feel very good. But as you continue to practice, it feels better. All right, so we've done those first ones. Next is we're gonna bring it up and over, down and around, up and over and back down. Same thing, opposite direction. Now what we're going to do is go around in the same direction for a few repetitions. And then reverse it. Now then, hopefully, when you've done that many repetitions, you're going to be able to do the final master blaster of this sequence. And that is, you're going to keep pulling the staff apart and bring it up and all the way over. Up and over. So, make sure when you're doing this that you are pulling the staff apart. That will help engage the muscles better. And then up and over. Okay, now you're going you're to find that there's some place probably in that uh, range of motion where you're tight or tighter. So come up to where you feel tension, like I feel it right there, and I'm going to go just below it and just above it. Just three or four times, then all the way up and over. Then when I come back, I'm going to do the same thing. When I find that spot where it's the, the most tense, I'm just going to go down a little bit below it and a little bit above it. And down. All right, now, if you've been with me this whole time, go ahead, shake it down. Loosen up a little bit. 
let's go through the sequence where we just do each movement one time. So, once this way, once this way, once with a twist this way, once with a twist this way, and once all the way around in that direction, and then reverse it. And then over. So you got the idea, right? Right? Okay. Well, how about you? Did you get it? Well, I'll do it again for you. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Are you ready now? Five, six, seven, and eight. And that's one complete round. Okay, so all kidding aside, all kidding inside, having fun. You don't have to run from these movements. You can make them fun. You don't have to avoid these movements. You can make them fun. You don't have to do it exactly the way we do it. You don't have to do it as many repetitions. You don't have to do every single aspect of it. Pick what you can do, start there, and little by little, you get into the whole thing. Make it fun.